Hello. Konnichiwa. See Lord Pib. How are you doing, good sir? Sashiburi dana. Pib song. Today we have a brand new game. Beauties in the Eye of the Beholder 2. Konnichiwar. You almost had it. Almost. Um so I'm doing excellent. I have a Coca-Cola. How about you? I have a sparkling ice strawberry watermelon. A fizzy bubble. <laughs> so we have a new game here. Um, it looks like a bunch of mindless puppets are living in a society where everything is in a totalitarian state. Um, and of course, as soon as I start stream, the dog next door starts going off. So fucking hell. Fucking hate that thing. Um, yeah, it's a rainy day, just like it is at Frost Kingdom. It's a rainy day here as well. Um, we're just gonna go ahead and uh, see what this game is all about, shall we? New game. Who is this fella? Why is why is everyone looking at him? Oh, it's me. Can I walk this way? How could I have been so blind? I should have known from the very beginning they'd find a way to twist everything. Turn it all upside down. I'll read it since I'm covering up part of the screen. In their hands, every endeavor becomes an instrument of control. Every carrot becomes a stick. You're just looking at me. This was all a mistake. All of it. But maybe it's not too late to fix it. I need to shut everything down, destroy all the documents. Those empty eyes, that silent obedience. This isn't what I wanted. It was supposed to be, it wasn't supposed to be like this. I can only go sideways. To do great things, you have to overcome great obstacles. I know that, but still, I have never been so scared in my life. I'm sure they're already planning on dragging Evan into all of this. I know of only one way to protect my son. Fall Guys build, honestly. You've got to jump off cliffs all the time and build your wings on the way down. Our Bradbury. Alawar Premium. Warm Lamp Games presents. Oh my god. Evan Redgrave. Marco Legrand. Emma Hazer. 
Albert de Salvo. George Hemnitz. James Cunningham. And special guest, Carl Stein. Is he kill? In. Beholder. Two. A few days later. Transfer to the Ministry approved. Get to work as soon as you arrive in Helmer, Jay Cunningham. P.S. Your father is dead. More info when we meet. By the way, your father fucking died. Get to work as soon as possible when you arrive. Damn, a lot to digest immediately, huh? Well, where is, uh, where is work? I need to go to work. It's too early to go home. Okay, so that way's home. Hi there. I assume you're the one we've been waiting for. My name is George Hemnitz. Nice to meet you. Evan, you must be quite a big deal, Evan. Why is that? I've been with the ministry for eight years, four months and 12 days. In that time, I've processed 18,342 applications, had 1,629 cups of coffee, and witnessed 284 incidents of civil disorder. Okay, George. You know it all, huh? Now ask me how many times I've been sent to welcome a new employee on his first day. How many? Zero, Evan, zilch. Not once in all those 3,052 days. So there has to be something special about you, right? You're right, I'm a big shot at the ministry. I have no idea what you're talking about. Honestly, I have no idea. I'll show him civil disorder. Perhaps you've gotten me mixed up with someone else. I'm just here to be a clerk. My name's Evan Redgrave. Redgrave as in... Redgrave? Redgrave? Oh, God. Your father. Go on, Hemnitz. What did you want to say? My deepest condolences. I can't imagine what you must be going through right now. And to think I saw him just 58 hours and 23 minutes before he... Before his death. We weren't that close. To be honest, we hadn't talked in a decade. Up until yesterday, I didn't even know he worked here. Your father didn't just work here. He was one of the most respected people in the ministry one of the few people to make it to the very top. And the most amazing thing is, he never looked down on his subordinates. He was an open and honest man. <laughs> and by civil or disorder, ha, let's just say, Jelk Max. Pib always knows what's to say. What happened, have the police found anything out? People like us are never told much, so I only know one or two things for sure. The rest is all just hearsay and fantasies dreamed up by employees with nothing better to do. What are the facts? 47 hours and 23 minutes ago, your father fell from a window on the top floor of the ministry. He fell 37 floors, hit the pavement, and died instantly. Law enforcement are working tirelessly to find out how and why this happened. Or at least that's what they are say they are doing. That's not much to go on. 
I might have some important information to give you in connection with your father's death. But it'd be better to discuss it somewhere quiet, and after I've given your instructions and shown you to your desk. We're here for a reason, after all. Ready for your first day at the ministry? Let's get to it. New task. Go with Hemnitz to your work area. Okay, so we're going to the ministry. This is where he jumped out the window. I'm going right into it. Okay. That tall ass cop right there. I run like that too. <laughs> okay. Uh oh. Oh god. He's getting jumped. And they're clapping. All because his zipper was metal. The safety and security of the ministry are another source of pride for us. Oh my god. The security guards can be some of your best friends here, especially if you're able to come to some kind of arrangement with them. There he goes. As I said before, there are 37 floors. We should always remember why we are here and what it took us to get here. What does this mean? This is a big ass building. Look at all the people back there. corporate. This is where we hold general meetings. They're usually pretty mundane. Some people get rewarded for their work. Others get reprimanded for theirs. Sometimes we also publicly condemn the actions of our neighbor's states. The first floor of the ministry has an area of 440,000 square meters. Incredible, isn't it? This guy's a math geek. See those lines? Every single person standing there has come here with a problem. Whether it's a real issue or not is up to, isn't up to us to decide. Our job is to send people to the right department. This one is as clumsy as they come. He's always dropping something. I can never remember his name. Poor guy. If you sit on the riverbank long enough, the current might sweep away your enemies for you. Okay. We got some donuts, some coffee, tray with pastry. And here's the general hall. You'll be spending a lot of time here working or talking to coworkers. That's your desk. Take a look around and I'll give you your first assignment when you're ready. So this is my desk. Can I go? There? No, is it only sideways? Got a cart with papers. Hmm. These dudes are absolutely just Work phone, another cart with paper. Okay, so I'm gonna assume the one 
with the doors open is my desk. Have you had a look around? Then I'll take you to your workplace and show you the ropes. Do you already know what your job involves? No, I have no idea. Dude, you better make some friends or this place is going to eat you fucking alive. <laughs> yeah. I'm definitely gonna have to do some kind of, uh, some kind of fraternizing with the society. This is really dark and twisted. You'll be dead meat. Tell me about my job. So right now we're in the general hall. The people working in these booths send visitors to ministries and offices. This place is the front line of our bureaucratic defense. Only the chosen few are allowed through. Are you talking about us? Did you feel like you've been chosen? Everyone always thinks that they're special, different. But in fact, we're all the same. Two square meters of skin, 206 bones, five liters of blood. Well, as long as you eat right and you're not decorated. Blood donor, that is. And sooner or later, we all die. Except for the wise leader, of course. But before we get to die, we have to work hard. You'll be dealing with visitors, listening to their appeals. Figure out which forms they need. Decide which ministry they have to see, and then send them to an available office. You need to press the right buttons in your terminal, print out the forms, and give them to the visitors. Let's ask about the ministries. How many ministries are there? In actual fact, a great many ministries are established and abolished every single day, and we never have enough time to keep the register up to date. Fortunately for you, the big six never change. The ministries of order, Patriotism, social care, labor, culture, and sports, science, and technology. So just listen caref to the visitors carefully and decide which of these six ministries to send them to. Okay. Everything's clear so far, in theory, anyway. Now let's see how much theory differs from practice. I have 207 bones. <laughs> I have 208. So let's start with the basics, the forms. Your task for today is to process five visitors. You'll earn authority for meeting your quota. Authority? I'd rather have money. Evan, in our ministry, authority is much more valuable than money. Anyone can steal or find money, but authority has to be earned. Without it, you can forget about promotions, rewards, and your whole career. If you don't have enough influence in the ministry, your colleagues won't even talk to you. What a lovely day. All right. If one of the five visitors is in violation of conduct but is kind of chill, do we let them through? No. I can already tell the vibe of this place. I want to fit in. All right. I want to go in. How do I go in? I can't like go up or down. Oh, okay, that's how. All right, here we go. Zuni on the TV, let's go. Welcome, Freddy. Yokosu, I'm here to fit in with society and work in this corrupt totalitarian state. Ferdinand, Sir Pib, salutations. All right. 
code is this. For the ministry, George Hibnitz is my only profile so far that I know. I don't have a ministry map. Skills, none. I'm skillless. What is this? I'm assuming the blue is authority and this is money. This is time. All right. Looks like I have a notification. Working hours monitoring service ban on mass mailings. <clears throat> to Evan Redgrave from working hours monitoring service. We have introduced the complete ban on mass mailings for everyone without UD65684654 over 7 level access. Okay. Oh, hello. I've brought in a review for the new 1985 movie. It's a delight to witness and such a great work of art. What a magnificent world full of order and harmony. A cinematic masterpiece. So this guy once has a review of the new 1985 movie. I'm going to say information. No. It's not a denunciation. Nor a complaint, nor a request. I'm going information. Um, culture and sports. No. Would it be patriotism? No. It's a movie. It wouldn't be order. Select available office. What the hell is this? Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. Monday is the 6th of May. I'll just go with this one. Oh, sweet. I got them all right. And they gave you the 1998 iMac. God damn. For real, that's what I'm on right now. That's my, that's my specs. I've got a nice PC. After watching Do It Yourself on TV, my wife decided to make a ceiling fan out of matches, acorns, and an old spring. Would you be at all surprised to hear that it was a failure? The power is out in the whole building, and now there's a spring sticking out of my wall. I kindly ask you to punish the inventors of such... Is he ratting out his wife? I would... <laughs> I kindly ask you to punish the inventors of such dangerous creations. So she did a do a DIY. This is a request. I feel like it could be either any of these three. But he's requesting us to punish the inventors of such dangerous creations. Hmm. Wife didn't let him play Xbox, so he's trying to get the cop to treat her like Zipper Guy. Oh my god. Rip Zipper Guy, dude. Um, science and technology, labor. He's making an order request. What's Monday? I'll send you to that office. Oh, fuck. What was it? 
What does that mean? I think I'm about my name. I guess it was a complaint after all. Hello there, here's a folder containing the results of my cloud observations. I've spent over 30 years on them, haven't missed a single day. So this is a cloud watcher. My wife says that they're a complete waste and keeps threatening to throw them away, so I decided to hand them over to our trusted Ministry of Science. A true scientists will be able to appreciate my work. Let's go science. Boom, let's go. <clears throat> Hi, here's a list of unmarried women librarians. <laughs> That's a I don't know how I feel about that. Hello, Veronica. Welcome to the stream. I need to take a drink. I've been reading a lot. All right. Here's a list of unmarried women librarians. What for? To be dis to be disseminated within male-dominated companies. Every hard-working man needs a smart woman. Haven't you received the latest directive from the Ministry of Social Care about increasing the birth rate? This lady's a fucking sex trafficker. Am I not late? What's your favorite instrument? Uh, huh. <laughs> My favorite instrument is a violin. I like violins. Welcome, Mel. Hello. Long time no see. I am finally back. All right, what was that again? A list of unmarried people so that they can... That's not information. I'm going to say request uh, for social care. Yeah. What? It was information? God. Oh gosh. Hello. My name is Pierre Vanu. Let her through. <laughs> hey, the violin is my favorite too. Hey, nice. Good pick. Thank you. And I'm a bellboy at the Anthracite Hotel. I thought you should know that Ricky Martinos, the famous singer, has been behaving in an antisocial manner. Orgies, girls drinking every night. He's the golden voice of our people. Shame on him. Denunciation. About social care. What? Culture and sports? Really? Mm. Report to Hemnitz. What a lovely day. Report back. I fulfilled the quota. What's next? Evan, try not to make mistakes on the job. Listen carefully to the visitors and direct them to available offices. The work you do here is of the utmost importance to our country. I have nothing else to tell you about your job. You're on your own now. Get settled in and meet your colleagues. Earn authority. If you roll up your sleeves and work hard eight hours a day, Sooner or later, you'll be promoted to manager and get to work 12 hours a day. Isn't that an exciting thought? I'll keep that in mind. Thank you, George. 
Oh, this stuff. I'll make a note in the journal that you've had your briefing. All the necessary documents are in that over, are in that over there. Take them to Magda Rakovich, the boss's secretary. I'll wait for you by the statue. We still have more to talk about. What's your favorite board game? Uh, favorite board game? I'm gonna say chess. Cart with papers, signed George Hemnitz. All right, give Magda Rakovich the documents. I guess this is where it is. I'm valid. As many as a grandmaster since chess was invented. I don't know about all that. Are you Magda Rakovich? What do you want? Hello. That's not a very respectful way to address an older woman now, is it? Sorry. Now what? George Hemnitz asked me to give you these documents. You didn't look inside, I hope. I'm uninterested. I didn't ask if you were interested. Reading sealed papers like this, like these when you don't have top secret clearance can cost you your freedom. Or your life. Do I make myself clear? <laughs> Perfectly, but I prefer not to stick my nose into other people's business. I don't care where where you stick any of your extremities. There are rules, regulations, and instructions that must be observed if you want to stay in the ministry for more than a day. If you make mistakes, nothing will save you, not even your name. What's wrong with my name? You're still here, don't try my patience. Sorry, I'm leaving already. Well, that was an interaction. This game is so mysterious. Those are the people going in line. Why is he talking about cats? I'll take some of my time. I saw the guards searching you. What did they want? Who knows? They said they were looking for a bald man. But you have hair. Yeah, but under my hair, I'm bald. It took a while to sort out. Potted plant. Okay. So I can choose to interact with people and sacrifice my time. Bust of the leader. I got one authority from that by saluting the leader. Is that the dead body of my dad? Let's see what this person has to say. 
What happened here? I've been bringing reports to the Ministry of Distribution for the last three days. I missed everything. They say Redgrave fell out of a window yesterday. Do you know who he was? Of course I do. He was one of the big wigs. How could something like that happen? No idea. You better not dwell on it. What a lovely day. What did you want to talk about? It's about your father, Evan. What happened to him was just awful. There's something I had to tell you. Go on. At most, 20 people in the whole country know what I'm about to tell you. I'm taking a huge risk by divulging these details to you, so I have to ask you, don't say a word to anyone, okay? Why are we talking about this outside? All right, let's hear it. As you know, I was appointed to the position of floor inspector several years ago. But at the same time, I was enlisted to work in Department 6. Department 6, that's a myth. No same person actually believes in it. The greatest trick the devil ever pulled was convincing the world he didn't exist. Department 6 is considered to be a myth because that's how the person in charge wanted it. More precisely, that's how your father wanted it. My father was the head of Department 6. What went on there? Work on Heimdall, a secret project helmed by your father, began at that time. That's how we met. I've always been good with numbers, so I was invited on board to assess strat statistical errors and their potential consequences. He didn't talk much about himself, but mentioned having a son a few times. And his eyes lit up every time he did. He was proud of you, believe me. What was this Heimdall project? Not here, not now. It's too dangerous. We have to find a quiet place in the right time. How about tomorrow? I'll tell you everything, and you can decide what to do with the information. Well, it looks like uh, my dad and I were not close. Mm. Well, time to talk some more. See you tomorrow. Get father's letter from Hemnitz. See what this letter was all about, huh? Oh, this is home. You were just another sheep. Can't do the phone or the desk. Or the TV. Or the bookcase. Or the bed. Someone's waiting for me. Good thing I chose to look through the peephole. knocking on my door. Deep down, we are all bald people with hair. Pib. I think you might be a little bit behind if you hit the live button at the bottom uh, for the live feed. Good to see you, Evan. Do you remember me? 
I don't remember you. I'm an old friend of your father's, Evan. He and I were close. We worked side by side for many years. I visited your home often, don't you remember? Your mother used to make fantastic rhubarb pies. She passed away a long time ago. I know. I went to her funeral and to your father's. Why didn't you tell me? I didn't get a chance to say my goodbyes. I'm afraid your father's death is a complicated matter. And someone at the top wanted to sweep it under the rug as quickly as possible. So this is James Cunningham. That's why I came to see you. We need to talk about your work. How's your first day going? Everything's moving very quickly. Just a week ago, I was planning to visit my father and introduce him to my family. In the end, I didn't even make it to his funeral. I understand, Evan. Did you two ever patch things up? No, we never got the chance. I'm sorry. If I'd known that things were that bad, I would have arranged your transfer here much sooner. So he arranged my transfer. So you're the one who got me assigned to the ministry. I am indeed, and by now you might have guessed that it wasn't down to your good looks and winning smile. Did you come here alone? Where is your family? Everything's okay. They're with Miriam's parents in Reading at the moment. Reading? That's hardly anything there apart from coal mines and some pretty unpleasant minor types. Not the best place for a woman and her child. I realize that. I have to get the new apartment ready for them as soon as possible. Do you know anything about my father's death? Not much. The floor bosses were involved in some way. That's all I know. And I can't conduct a full investigation. <clears throat> Why not? Investigations are what you and your division do. Evan, the only insider I had in the ministry was your father. Clearly, he discovered something very important and got taken out for it. All the evidence disappears if we just walk in front of the door. Meaning that my investigation into the ministry and your investigation into your father's death are one and the same. I want to help you. Happy to hear it. Find some dirt on those bastards in the ministry and find out who's responsible for your father's death. I'll make sure they get punishment they deserve. Your main task is to listen to what people say, make a note of everything, and ask the right questions. Learn about the job and about your colleagues. It's not as though you have anywhere else to be, so become one of the team and find out what they are all interested in. Your dad just died and all these MFs want to do is talk about how dead your dad is. SMH, man. By the way, I left a book in your bookcase. There's some general information about terminal interfaces in there. As well as descriptions of several ways to crack simple passwords. You can find lots of useful information in your colleagues' terminals. It'll take some time to read it all, but it will pay off. Goodbye. Let's go to the bookcase. I have to buy shows. Watch the Walking Boreans. Skill added knowledge about the characters from the Walking Boreans. Alright, 
Let's read that book. Elect man. Kaya. Welcome. Yokoso. I'm playing a mysterious game where I must win. I must defeat all of my employees. Working with Terminals Volume 1, New Skill Hacking Patriot Terminals. Okay. Got that. Let's see if I can sleep and get some time back. Okay, yeah, I got some time. Never heard of this game before. Yeah, me either until a couple days ago. Seems uh, pretty interesting. Street telescope. This is the ministry building. There's the big leader guy. I wonder how much trouble it would be to get some other guy that can fic on that bookshelf. Fanfic? Oh my gosh. And give me all the skills. All right. I just have to hack any terminal, huh? Pass the vibe check. I forgot to access code to my terminal. What am I to do now? Not a clue. Maybe someone else will remember it. Good luck. Well, I guess I'm hacking that guy's terminal. Jeez. All right. Oh, something's going on in here. I got another authority. Let's go. What in the world? Dear compatriots and friends, this is the big leader man. We have all gathered here today, hand in hand, shoulder to shoulder for a very special occasion. We are here to reward someone. Our country is big, unique, and beautiful. We are united by common concerns and common pleasures. We are also united by our long-standing tradition of rewarding the worthy among us and wishing them the very best. They are clapping. You know what that means. Yeah, Zipper Guy is getting jumped again. And today, that worthy individual is your colleague, Comrade Hemnitz, George. It is vitally important that we believe in ourselves, in our own strength, and in our country. We work, and in doing so, we achieve many great things. I would like to sincerely thank you, dear friends, for all your victories and achievements, your understanding and trust, and your genuine heartfelt concern for our great state. 
today every one of us can become a little better. What the heck are they doing to George? I'm assuming this is because George talked about something top secret outdoors. Yeah, yeah, I'll hail the motherland and blah, blah, blah. Why'd they say they were there to reward him? How many Arizona peace teas do you need to drink before you start talking like that? At least five. I have to ask what's going on here. Magda Rakovich is bound to know something. Yes. I'm Evan Redgrave. I work here. Me too. I take care of the plants. And your name is? There's always being called out when the plants get dry. Anything else you want? <laughs> What are you doing? I don't think that's where the, what the plants need. The plants are infested with damn bugs, and I don't gather them up. If, if I don't gather them up now, in a couple of days, there will be nothing but bare branches left, and we're entered into a best houseplant contest. I've already filled two bags, and they just keep coming. <laughs> he said no bugs. Redgrave's legacy is just sitting in this potted plant. And I told him what kind of authority I'd rather date a courier. What did he say? He went off to earn some money and joined one of those punishment squads, those, er, uh, what do you call them, you know, spy hunters. You are such a heartless bitch. I know my worth. What is this game? See, it's in the vending machine. Hmm. Okay. Is it the hack any terminal? you I haven't seen you before hi my name's Evan and I'm new new eh? I'm Serena Marwitz well here's my advice newbie if you don't want to lose your mind and your life keep away from the vending machine
えー、へーへーへーえー、とそうですねオッケー What do you want to know? Talk about the weather, talk about trading in the ministry, talk about family. Do you have kids, Serena? Why? You want to be a dad? No. No thanks. I'm good with the one I've got. Just curious how you manage to do so much. I'm not going to discuss my family with you. What do you care? How do you make it past security? The ministry is a restricted access area. What do you think people eat in restricted areas? Air? They used to have a whole canteen on this floor. When it was shut down to cut costs, folks started dying of starvation right at their workplaces, so the bosses had the okay selling food here. Nobody stops you? I'd love to see him try. Well, you're so. you're quite a big shot. Please, I started out as a janitor here. You know how it goes, though. Nobody pays attention to the hired help. I've seen and heard a lot. Once the canteen got shut down, I put two and two together and went straight to the boss. We agreed on an amount fairly quick. The security chief, though, became a problem. So I had to remind him of what happened on the day of, on the day of order a couple years ago. And He came to his senses pretty sharpish. Ever since, security just smile and wave at me. What happened? Yeah, right. Wanted to start smuggling pies too and take my job away? You know the temperature today? Do I look like a thermometer? Ask where you can buy useful items. All right. So to hack any terminal. Someone's working in there. Someone's working in there. Even the vending machine spits propaganda. Get in line and you wait, young man. Fine, I'll wait for an hour. Sometime later. What do you want? Tenet has been executed. You've come here just to tell me what everybody already knows? You're the only one I know in the whole ministry. All you need to know is who you answer to and where your workplace is. His death only makes my job harder. Why is there such an increase in your workload? Hemnet is dead, meaning that he can't do his job and therefore must be fired. When an employee is fired, they have to hand over their official stamp and any secret documents they may have. They also have to sign the safety journal and provide a form saying that they have no books from the ministry libraries in their possession. But most importantly, he did not hand over his pass. The security service must have his things. Go to the guard at the checkpoint and tell him I sent you and we give you Hemnitz's things. Take this map of the ministry. Without it, you'll be wandering the halls until the end of time. Save your compliments for fools like Emma Hazer. I didn't mean anything bad, but nothing will come out of it either. Okay. Well, what's her beef with Emma Hazer, right? She fucking hates Emma Hazer. So from the lost and found.
Lost and found was somewhere over there. Stay away from the vending machine. Oh my god, he's still up there. Nothing in that potted plant. It's a landscaper again. Hmm. Infested with bugs, eh? I must act like I'm saluting the leader. Oh yeah, lost and found is over here. This is where we keep employees lost and found stuff. Why are you searching this place? Nagdarakovich sent me. I came to get Hemnitz's belongings. Take what's left. Left? Someone has already been here? A colleague. Took some box and left. What colleague? None of my business. He didn't get the chance to turn in his pass. And a letter to me. Here's father's letter. I suppose I could have opened it a little more carefully, but to hell with the envelope. I need to know what's in here right now. about the biometric safe. Man, I don't know what's going on. I'm just running errands. There's a landscaper again. What is that guy doing? Bottle of whiskey, quality booze. You're so lucky you didn't wear your metal zipper pants today. I know, right? Or else I'd end up like Zipper Guy. We don't want to end up like Zipper Guy. Excuse me. Yes, it's me. Hello. My name is Evan. I'm new here. Nicholas Page, the courier. Have you taken any of Hemnitz's belongings? No. Do you know where I could buy some useful things? You can buy some things for me, but I don't do business with folk I don't trust. Okay. Probably right of him not to trust anyone. No good papers in there. What a lovely day for work. Hello. Who the hell are you? I haven't seen you here before. Guards, intruder alert. Easy fella, my name is Evan Redgrave. I'm new here, I just started. Oh, I heard they hired some new guy. I'm Peter Dong. Hmm. 
No fucking shot. This guy's name is Peter Dong. That's a double negative. That that shit cancels out like PEMDAS or some shit. What do you want from me? Well, what do you want? Have you taken any of Hemnitz's belongings? No. <laughs> I'm going to hack your terminal, guy. What does this mean? <clears throat> Let's see what we have here. <laughs> like PEMDAS or some shit. He looks like and is built like a Peter Dong, right? <clears throat> John Peace. Citizen reception procedure. New requirements as of the first day of this month, visitors entering public service buildings are required to present, in addition to their identity card, a certification of vaccination, a certificate of no arrears and utility bills, and a reference letter from their employer. Boring. Comrade Dong. For exceeding the quota by 300%, you have been awarded the 29th honorary honorary diploma for labor achievements and an official ministerial note of acknowledgement of the second degree. Cool. From Peter Dong to Emma Hazer. Dot dot dot. You have forgotten me again. You waste your time on other men. You'll never find yourself a winner if you don't join me for dinner. Who is Emma Hazer? Okay, we have a kid playing with the train. Uh, him holding up a sign that says Gup and a train. Cool. Anything of use in here? Top 100 patriotic songs. All right, let's get the hell out of here. You didn't see shit, Nicholas. Nicholas Page. I want to. I want to see if he saw anything. Hey, Nicholas Page. Hello. It's a shitty job if you ask me. I've got access to other floors, but that's of no use. Okay, Nicholas Page. Metric safe. Oh my god, here it is. This person had it. Or maybe. Maybe. Yeah, it was that person. New skill, picking crossbar locks. Can I look at stuff here? Did I open this? Oh no, it says. 
Here's where all my acquaintances. I'm Nicholas Page. Could demolish a foot-long subway cookie loaf. I, I bet he could too. I bet he could also do it whilst stealing the Declaration of Independence. This is the only places I've seen so far. Let's give this pass to Rakovic. Oh, gotta wait again. This better be good. What do you want? Hand over Hemnitz's pass. I brought you Hemnitz's pass. Give it to me. Now I can finally fire him. It's good that he didn't have any library books. I'm very strict about that. Now his promotion allotment is open. His promotion allotment. He was to be transferred to another floor, and now the position is vacant. Every idiot in here is going to be fighting over it. Now Hemnitz's personal file is ready to be transferred to the archive, but... But... But the courier hasn't brought me all the documents I need for the archive yet again. He doesn't care, and we're the only ones who will be rewarded for losing documents that contain state secrets. Oh, so being rewarded is not good. You don't want to be rewarded in this company. Look around in the carts by the workplaces. If you find the documents, bring them to me. Let's ask about our jab. Work is not meant to be liked, but it is meant to be done. But still, I get to decide whether you leave by yourself or are dragged away by security for distracting people from their work. Goodbye. All right. Oh my gosh, he's walking out. Is this Emma Hazer? Hello. Hello, why haven't I seen you before? I'm new here, my name is Evan. Emma Hazer, nice to meet you. Called it. Emma stole Hemnitz's thing. Ask about Hemnitz's belongings. Did you by chance take any of Hemnitz's things? No. Ask about Peter Dong. Emma, what do you think about Peter Dong? Nothing, he's just a colleague. Dong is not a man of courage and strength. I'd go so far as to say that his complete lack of these qualities is impressive. What happened to Hemnitz? I can't talk about that, sorry. Mm, I'm gonna save my stuff. Or maybe... Oh yeah, it does spend them. George helped me out on my first day. I was just so surprised, he seems like such a nice guy. And now he's gone for good. Nice guys don't have it easy these days. Nice guys like George, even more so. Why? Everyone hates this woman. Oh damn, I kind of get it. She a little meanie weenie. He was too damn nice. Loved his wife and kids, helped everyone, lent people money till payday, didn't meddle, didn't scheme. He knew how to listen, made you feel at ease, you know? Uh, not really. Why would you? You're a man, but women can sense that. He was just good. I don't know how to explain it. What was he punished for? 
I don't fully understand, or rather I do. You heard it all yourself, but I don't believe it. But the ministry is never wrong. I guess I am a bad judge of character. It's surprisingly and surprising for our little viper's nest, but no. George managed to stay friends with everyone, even Legrand, and he's a complete asshole. Okay. Ask about favorite TV show. Passion of the Leader. How do you like working here? Well, I've been working here for half a year. I prepare documents, write reports, collect statistics. I see. Edit orders, file correspondence, issue travel allowances, send packages, receive packages, distribute packages. Boring stuff. Am I get it? That's not to mention the visitors. They just won't stop coming. I do some other stuff. Wow. What can I do? I need the money. To be honest, by the end of the day, I'm ready to collapse. Maybe I can find a husband here and finally give up this grind. What is she implying? What is she implying that she does? Flirt? Oh god. Why is that an option? Any plans for tonight? The usual, finish some paperwork, watch TV, and go to bed. Does a, pretty, does a pretty girl like you really have nothing more fun to do after work? Is it really just more work and TV? This pretty girl would love to do something fun if the company is good. Any suggestions? Invite into the storeroom? What is going on? Peter Dong's gonna fucking hate me. I don't know about after work, but as for now... What are you talking about? I'm still new to this city. I'm all alone. I have no one. No one to hold me. No one to keep me warm. Evan, you have a wife. What the fuck? What are you getting at? Oh, what's this? Pop into the storeroom with me and I'll show you. You're a cocky one, Redgrave. I thought you were married. What makes you think I'd go in there with you? We're adults. We're free to do what we like. So why not? Besides... Oh my gosh. I'm not offering money. I see why people don't like her. He took notes from the TikTok Riz party. Like, for real. He was mogging so hard. I already checked all these, but it wouldn't hurt to check again, right? Is she going back? I was about to... I was about to hack her stuff. Maybe I should do some work. No new mail. <clears throat> oh gosh, here we go. Time to guess correctly. Hi, I have underwear ration cards. What the hell's an underwear ration card? But our local store doesn't carry my size. Can I trade them in for butter rations or vegetable oil either will do the trick that's a request for um
culture and sports. Tuesday. What? This is the one that was deciding between. I came to complain about the management of Foundry number two. Our equipment is always breaking down, and nobody even considers lowering production quotas while it's being repaired. Are we expected to pour molten metal by hand? All they keep saying is that they don't set the quotas and can't change them. Something must be done. Boom. Tuesday. Tuesday. Exactly. Actually. Unbelievable. This is despicable. Please calm down. What's wrong? Those immigrants, those refugees, it's downright unacceptable. They go around harassing women on the streets, catcalling, doing all sorts of perverted things. Oh. Can you give an example? Of course I can. Yesterday I was walking down the street when a group of them ran up to me, looked me up and down, and ran away without saying a thing. I demand you find those brutes. Uh, let's do social care. What? Oh, it was order. Duh. Hi there, I have a little kitty, Agatha. I let her out yesterday and someone tied a can to her tail. The poor little thing got scared and ran so fast she crashed to a shop window and broke it. I only just managed to catch her again and she's still in shock. Aww. Please catch whoever tied that can to her and punish them as the war criminal they are. That's a complaint. We will have justice for Agatha. Next. Hi, I saw a wanted ad, and I have information on the whereabouts of one of the criminals. At this very moment, Claude Renu, the number four most wanted criminal in the country, is lounging on my couch with a newspaper and refusing to buy me a fur coat. Who should I report this to? She straight up pulled this guy. And just because he won't buy her shit, says, who should I report him to? They should have named the kitten Akatha. Oh my gosh. Um, information? Order? What? Oh, it was denunciation. Oh, I missed my quota by one. Peter Dong. Nicholas Page would have was your wisdom. Uh, he's got nothing. Ask colleagues about the biometric safe. Can I ask anyone in this big crowd of people? I cannot. Peter Dong is in love with Emma Hazer. As hard as he tries, he simply cannot hide or hold back such strong feelings. Has been an employee of the month for several months in a row. Uh, very good favor. 
Peter Dong is short for Paternus Dongster. <laughs> Precisely. Work as a cleaner in the ministry. Use blackmail to obtain a trade permit. Pest fighter, engage in an uphill battle with beetles and other insects within the walls of the ministry. Doesn't respond to compliments. Looking for a husband. Married men aren't up for consideration. Considers Dong a doormat and a wuss. Not the best thing for a woman to think about you. Oh, Peter Dong. Received Heimdall codes. New information discovered about Caleb Redgrave. Okay. There's Peter Dong. Well, what do you want? That is insane disrespect. Called the dude a doormat. Peter, I wanted to ask you about you and Hazer. There is no me and Hazer. And it's none of your business anyway. You can keep pretending, Peter, but I know for sure that you're in love with her. Who told you? Peter, I've seen my share of lovesick men. Trust me, the facial expression is unmistakable. I looked like that way myself when I was trying to woo my wife, so spill it. So everyone knows, it can't b b be true. Mommy will kill me. <laughs> Dude, you're 29. What do you mean? You're right, Evan. I'm a worthless, pathetic nerd. I didn't say anything like that. You don't have to. I already know it. I fell in love with Emma like a fool the moment I set eyes on her, and I've suffered ever since. You know, we live in a country partial to suffering. There's nothing to be ashamed of. She is a really nice girl, and I think you two would make a great couple. Do you really think so? Of course. Have you seen how pretty she is? Like a cover girl from Young Patriots. And me, I'm. how could I walk up to her and... I won't deny it, Peter. You're not exactly the macho bad boy type all the girls love, but there are a lot of other positive qualities that women appreciate. You're an all-around good guy, see? You just need to play to your strengths. Why is he bringing his mom into this? <laughs> That's what I'm saying. I'm like, what? I like to think that he talks and does the hand gestures of My Hero Academia stands. Oh my god. I it's it's bad that I can imagine what that what that looks like. What strengths? You're hardworking, you don't drink, you have prospects, and you don't look at all like someone who could hurt a girl's feelings. So what do I do? Where do I start? Ask her out on a date, but not to a restaurant or a club. Take her to the theater or an exhibition. That'll show her how serious you are about her. And to date? Are you nuts? She'll just l l l l laugh at me. Then start with some flowers. Do you know what kind she likes? I accidentally found a page from a flower magazine in a trash can recently. <laughs> oh my god. I had red and white roses, violet violets, red poppies, yellow tulips, and white feathered grass on it. Some memory you have. You bet. Mommy says it's phenomenal. I know all the leaders' speeches by heart. New task. Oh, my new task is to be the... The, uh... Messenger owl between Peter and Emma. Oh, 
Okay, I'll try to find out myself. Oh, Evan, that would be wonderful. I just have to go over here now. What happened? What's your favorite color? Red, of course. Everyone loves red. It's bright like the Ministry's banners. What kind of flowers do you like? All kinds, except poppies. I'm allergic to them. Have a nice day. Bro, why is she so stiff for the damn ministry, right? Help Dong choose flowers. Let's go ahead and knock. Well, what do you want? Have you found out what flowers Emma likes? <laughs> well, well, well. <laughs> quite, quite interesting. <laughs> well, you see, I think Emma loves red poppies. There's nothing better than red poppies. I hope it works. chance taking Abe Hemmons' things? No. Ask about Peter Dong right in his face. Let's do it. Do you know, P do you know Peter Dong? Fella in glasses likes cabbage pies, but always says his mom makes them better. Anything else? He once bought a raisin doll, but instead of raisins inside, there were bits of cockroach. These things happened. The poor fellow got so sick that the guards came running. Thought it was a terrorist attack. Turns out he's been afraid of insects since childhood. What a prima donna. I've heard that insects are a delicacy in South Borea. Do you want a bun? No thanks. Do you know Emma Hazer? Emma, she's a good girl. She's a flirt and makes herself up like a hooker. But she's a good girl. She always buys the strongest cup. Makes sense, you can't get a good night's sleep if you're up screwing your boyfriends all night long. Oh my god. As far as I know, Emma works a lot. That's why she doesn't get enough sleep. Oh really? I'd like to see her try to get up at 4 a.m. like I do. Cook pies, feed the children, listen to the political information broadcasts, and then heave this tray around all day. Well, if you don't believe me, go hit on her yourself. See how that bimbo butters up her rolls right away. Are all of your metaphors food related? Meta what? I can see you're no pea brain. <laughs> what a cheese Danish it's fresh made just yesterday. He was punished and it serves him right. They say he was keeping explosives in his office and that he was
Huh? I'm not saying that shit. Serena is shady. Alright, Fred was... Fred. George was not making sausages out of innocent babies, okay? This is all propaganda. I bet Emma doesn't know how to make a cabbage pot. <laughs> Serena is a baddie. Oh my god. Right up your alley, Pib. What kind of nonsense is that? Well, I might be getting too gruesome with the details, but mark my word, nobody here gets punished for nothing. You, like a buddy of his or something? No, I barely knew him, just like you. That's no excuse for coming up with horrible stories and telling lies about him. Everyone does that. Here, have a celery meat pie. I hear it's good for the brains. What does this mean? What is he doing? Get your change ready, young man. Okay. Oh, that's not very friendly, friend, family friendly. No, it's not. So they said not to look in the vending machine. Wait a minute. She said not to look at the vending machine because it's competition for her brand. I'm gonna look in the vending machine. The PCBM 42 Provisions Machine welcomes you. Leave feedback. Select feedback type. You chose to leave positive feedback. Thank you for your feedback. The Ministry of Scientific Research loves you. Leave positive feedback to compete with Serena's. I think I have to go home and get some rest. Still nothing in this plant. Is Fred still up there? What were you putting in there? I don't think that's what the plants need. What did he just put in there? Okay, he didn't put anything in there. Plus of the leader. She didn't hold back. Oh gosh. I'm all clear. Nothing in lost and found. I saw a terrible ritual. An employee was hanged right in front of everyone. How could they do that? Par for the course, seven Punishments are clearly stated in Clause 12 of the Ministry Job Referral. Important positions entailed elevated levels of responsibility or something like that. But it's savage and barbaric. Everyone was clapping. Did you think your job was going to be a walk in the park? It's a nest of vipers, Evan. And you must become the goddamn king of vipers if you want to be promoted. Let's start with your immediate superior, Pete Ferguson. He is a pathetic man who loves only money. You'll see for yourself soon enough. 
Pete knows whose son you are. Everyone does, so he'll be careful. You'll need to gain his trust if you want to get him to slip up. Gather some information about him, squeeze it out of him, talk to colleagues, fulfill a few of his requests. If your conscience allows you to, of course. We need some dirt on that arrogant son of a bitch. But don't forget that Ferguson is just the first step. He's not that important. Your main goal is to rise through the ranks. You're working on the first floor at the moment. You have to make your way up higher. So either build up your authority, ruin your boss, or get rid of colleagues who pose you any competition. Your colleagues are your competitors. Make them not be your competitors. So you're saying I should plot against my colleagues, sneak around, frame them, blackmail them, drive them to suicide? So you're saying that all's fair in war? Is there any other way? If you find another way, go for it. Ask them to withdraw, arrange a transfer to another department, or wear them down. It makes no difference to me. I'm only interested in the result, the victory. And I care about what kind of person I'll be after such a victory. You always have a choice, Evan. There's a standard procedure. You get promoted when you earn enough authority. Use the work phone to figure out how much you need. I can't help you much with authority. You have to work, strengthen the ministry's power, and the leader's glory. Get colleagues out of your way, or befriend them. Is this where I store my money? Oh, I have bills. Doing three. Collection to help the national soccer team. We don't pay those yet. I have so many quests already. Passion of the Leader. That's uh, Emma's favorite show. Yeah, sure. I think that's Peter's favorite show. Let's go to Beb. I went to Beb. I just have to remember to uh, keep an hour. I have to talk to this girl, don't I? Hi, mister. Where are your parents, little girl? What's your name? Are you lost? No. My mom works in the ministry, and I wait for her here after school. When she finishes her work, well, go home. My name is Anka. What's yours? I am Evan. Talk about talking to strangers. It's not good, kid. Didn't your mom tell you not to talk about strangers, kid? Yeah. So how come you're talking to me? Don't you remember? I told you my name is Anka, so now we're not strangers. Why don't you go home? It's boring. The radio keeps saying blah, blah, blah. Wore this, wore that. So I figured I'd train beetles to keep myself busy. I found them in the bushes, a whole bunch. Though mom won't let me bring them in inside. She says the building manager will get mad. You're the one. She's the one that brings in the bugs. That poor landscaper. He's had it up to here.
Okay. Comrade Redgrave, Comrade Ferguson wants to see you. Shouldn't keep him waiting. Are we in like old Russia? <laughs> he sent for me, Comrade Ferguson. Who is it, Redgrave? You expect me to sit on my ass waiting all day? What took you so damn long? So this guy's in a position of authority, huh? I was... Did you say I... Did I say you could speak? Shut up and listen. I agreed to take you on board here because your father trusted me and asked me to help you out. Now it's time to return the favor. Get the picture. I don't really understand what you're... I'm sure you don't. Your father was the sharp one. And I see the apple of intelligence far... Fell far from the tree in your case. So here's the short version. You owe me. How much? Yeah, you catch on quick. You owe me for life, but to start, I want you to pretend to be a visitor of the ministry. One of those bastards sitting in the hall has been stealing my money, did you see? Not really. Are you a complete idiot? I'm saying that no, that one of those pricks in the hall is pocketing the money that the visitors give. You do know that all bribes have to be given over into the government revenue, don't you? Well, of course. And in your case, the government is me. And some rat is stealing from me. Our block-headed security guards can't catch him, so I've come up with an ingenious operation that I call Secret Visitor. You've got a forgettable face, so you can pass for a common visitor. I want you to give him an envelope, and I'll see if he gives me the money. Aluda, Aluda. It's the Ipi, the Ipi Kato. She's E.G. Nitsi's the Sleegy. She's just a Sleegy little guy and needs to go to bed. She's the wing 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 cat. She says, Gup, Gup. She's just a little orange and white Kato. She's Celestial Soon Kato. She goes, wah. She's, uh... <laughs> You're changing my lore. Welcome, Alura. Welcome. Stream's been okay. It's an interesting take on a video game. I'll agree. Is that all, sir? Did you really get all that on your first try? Get the fake money from my courier. There will be a guard waiting for you by the vending machine. He'll fill you in on the rest. Report back as soon as you're done. I don't want to see you otherwise. Do you understand, Redgrave? Completely, sir. And that's all. Get the hell out of here. Take money from the courier. Can't touch the safe. By the way, I'm eating your queso. It's mine now. No. Now what? Ask about the boss. Mr. Ferguson must be a strict boss. I do not discuss the management with the police. Do you think that's none of your business? Man, Magda really just does not give a shit. I think you're supposed to emphasize the Q in queso. I took Spanish for six years. Queso. Hey, Azu, sorry I've been quiet. I was doing my gotcha dailies as I was watching. Hey, that's okay. 
thanks for watching nonetheless and welcome oh my god the wingspan on that guy wait who's that oh I don't know who this person is yet they're always working Check the papers. Nothing. Nothing in there either. I don't need the work phone, I don't think. Does Emma know anything? Discuss the passion of the leader. That's what I just got to the episode. I really can't believe or forgive you. Banned, time not reported. Woo! Reminds me I gotta do my gotcha dailies too. Do them. You got this. I've only re started recently, so it's a bit hard to follow the plot, but it looks interesting. Oh wow, that's great news. At least now I'm not the only one watching it. I never have anyone to discuss episodes with. What do you think of Leoncio? A bit too goody-goody for my taste, but there's no denying he loves the cult to death. <laughs> I wonder if this is kind of love that can exist in real life. Like Brad's, when Catherine fell into a coma after falling down the stairs at the ministry. By the way, what do you think about Mark and Marcy? She's just gung-ho about this TV show. Mark is a controversial character. I think he's pretending to be madly in love with Stephanie so he can get a promotion. Marcy's the cutest dog you have ever seen. You're sweet, Evan Redgrave. If you keep watching it, we can become TV buddies. Ask about the boss. What do you think of our boss? He can afford anything he wants. He's like a dream come true. He'd be the perfect man if he wasn't married. <laughs> She's a gold digger. Emma, what do you think about Peter Dong? Someone sent me... <laughs> Someone sent me flowers recently. I'm sure it was him. A pity these aren't my favorite flowers. Do you think you can... Do you think love can bloom on the battlefield? Just making... Just me making a Metal Gear joke, by the way. Oh my god. Not Metal Gear. <laughs> Love that for her. Uh, I think this is all I already know. Bye, Emma Hazer. Everyone hates you. He's serving on a silver platter. Oh my god, Pib, what? <clears throat> Anything in my papers? Oh. The header says it's from the archive. You should give it to someone. There's Peter Dong. I'll see what he has to say. Well, what do you want? Find out what happened. Did your bouquet impress Emma? I guess. Well, did she like the flowers? I think I screwed up. But did you give them to her? Yes, I put them on her desk in the morning as planned, so what? She just laughed. Laughter smiled. Well, smiled, but what difference does it make? It's all over. <clears throat> Peter, you're a unique person. If she smiled, it means she liked them. Now ask her out. Are you crazy? I'll never have enough n n n n n n n nerve. Let me find you something to boost your confidence. Like what? I don't know yet. We just need to find you some good advice or ask around colleagues. Leave it to me. Snatched ass dress go off. Oh my god. 
A very on-brand Freddy thing to say, Pip. I love it. Work. Hazer does l look hot. <laughs> Jack. <laughs> oh my god. I'm more of a Peter Dong guy myself. Well, here he is. Maybe someone can help you lower your inhibitions. Give him the cure for cowardice. What did you bring me? Give him whiskey. I found the best cure for cowardice. I think that'll do. It'll loosen my tongue, all right, but I still don't know what to say. Oh, I have to bring in more stuff? Uh, talk about insects? What's your deal with insects? They're harmless. You wouldn't say that if you'd be given a sleeping bag filled with b b b bed bugs at the summer camp for the children of junior employees. Bed bugs are a fixture of Class J apartments, actually. And do you fight them with spiders in your Class J apartments? No. With repellent. Repellent? Never had those in summer camps. They were considered an extravagance. Some professor even wrote an entire article on the consequence of using repellents. Like there hadn't been enough studies to show how they affect future generations, health, and their chemical composition is like harmful to the environment. Sounds like an excuse for supply shortages. An excuse that is they meant catch us hobo spiders in the forest, stick them in our sleeping bags, and wait for them to deal with the bed bugs. Hell no, fuck that shit. Peter Pan's long lost brother, Peter Dong. Is it? Might as well call me a slur. KJK, love, laugh, love. Oh my god. Ready? No. That's horrible. You can't say that again. I've hated all insects ever since. Care to tell me about our colleagues? What do you think of the boss's secretary? I envy her a bit. The boss always keeps her close. That's real trust. Ask about the boss. I avoid talking about the higher ups. I advise you to do the same. Tips? I've done everything by myself. Nobody ever helped me, and I won't be helping anybody. Mom says you have to think for yourself. I'm trying not to collect dirt on you, Peter. I just want to know what she's like. Comrade Ferguson is a great boss with a lot of authority. A little while ago, we almost failed to meet the quota of processing appeals. So we ordered everyone to work overtime without a second thought. Nobody dared to argue with them. Can you imagine? I can imagine what would happen if someone did argue. So you're in love with Emma, aren't you? As if. Come on, Peter. I think she's a really nice girl. You've been making a great couple. Of course. Have you seen how pretty she is? Like a cover girl from Young Patriots. Yeah. What TV shows do you watch? I watch The Patriot Adventures. I think that's about all I can ask from him. I'm not going to read the show. Alright, there we go. There we go. Let's get talk to Nicholas Page. Live, laugh, love. Sorry. I don't drink. Hello. Ask about counterfeit money. Comrade Ferguson told me that you'll give me a bundle of counterfeit money. Take this pen and sign the receipt form. Okay. And the warehouse bill. Okay. And the accident prevention training log. But there was no training. You're not getting anything until you sign it. I see. And give the pen back. What do you think of the boss? Not kiss the boss's ass. Everyone envies him. The boss is a big shot and girls like him. While I roll the document cart back and forth, he rolls in his private car with the ministry's young female employees. Do you know many people who own a private car? 
There's nothing else you can do except envy him. <clears throat> Talk to the person at the vending. Let me check this real quick. I drink fucking milk. <laughs> You're drinking milk? Like, just straight up milk? <clears throat> I don't change money, I'm not a bank. Let's uh, finish a quota real quick. <clears throat> oh, I got an email. From the voucher department. The voucher department reports that there are no more vouchers in the department. <laughs> My god. I can eat cheese and yogurt, but I can't drink milk anymore. No, Jack, no. All right. Hello. I've brought some sample versions of the new uniform for our army orienteering teams. We're anticipating fresh attacks on the Western Front next week, so I think they'll Appreciate some new uniforms. She brought. That's not information. Uniforms is not information. It's not a complaint or a denunciation either. I'll just say it's information. I don't know what else it could be. Oh, hell yeah. Good guess, Esme. Good guess. Mm. I'm here to ask the Ministry of Labor to investigate and prosecute the management of Bank Number 12 for incompetence. Yesterday, I was trying to withdraw some cash and was informed that the management ordered all depositions to be used up by war bonds. That's not right. I'm just a cashier, and I'm, even I know that now's not the time to invest in mining department bonds. I... Let's just do this one. Boom. Next. I need a new job. What's wrong with your current job? Well, you see, my wife is the boss, my ex-wife, I should say. And ever since we got divorced, she's been abusing her position to make my life hell. She makes me work overtime, she triples my quotas, and then slashes my bonuses for not meeting them. See so all getting you reassigned. Request labor. Yeah. All these offices are open on Thursday. So let's do this. What? It was a denunciation. He was requesting a new job. I want to submit a list on, of my plant's employees. Is this the landscaper guy? Oh, plant as in factory. Uh, let's say labor. 
I had to put labor for everything today. <laughs> Boom. Final one. I have something urgent to report. Listen, I've witnessed a terrible future crime in progress. Go on. There's an apple tree close to our building. So, so I was walking past it one day and and you of all people must know about the recent directive banning apples. Do you realize what could happen? You have to stop this tree from committing a crime. So if I understand you correctly, you want us to arrest an apple tree. This apple tree is a criminal with heinous plans for future lawbreaking. Hurry up, we don't have much time. Uh, science and technology, right? No, order. It was another... I don't know what the hell the denunciation difference is. I can eat cheese and yogurt, but I can't drink milk. Yeah. Scale of shoe, all pib. Hey, Esme, what version of this game are you playing, if you don't mind me asking? What version? This is the Steam uh, PC version. <clears throat> all right, there we go. So I need to give the folder to Rakovich and talk to the person in vending. And then I can retire for the day. So I don't know who this is. I'm gonna knock on their door. Thanks you. No problem. Look what the cat dragged in. Eyes burning, chest all puffed out. This must be the newcomer that early departed Hemnitz was schlepping around the office yesterday. You know the most important thing you have to figure out during your first days in the office, rookie? What? That's who you are, buddy. Are you a wombat or a sun bear? What the hell are you talking about? It's an elementary question, buddy. Are you a fat and harmless marsupial hiding in the hole, or are you a strong and dangerous bear that can even take on a tiger? You office monkeys are so ignorant. Haven't any of you been to Australia or Nalasia? Have you? Uh, well, uh, no. But my father often traveled there and told me some things. He promised to take me there with him someday, but it's a long story, so buddy. Are you a herbivore or a predator? So am I, smart choice. We're small but highly dangerous, and we're a dying breed in this office full of wombats. Office monkeys is insane, right? I believe that predators like us should... I don't like the way that sounds. I don't like the way that sounds. I'm Evan. The son of Caleb? Wow. I'm not sure whether I should keep you closer to tell you to get lost. Why? Buddy, it's just your second day at the ministry and there are already too many dead bodies around you. Oh, this is Marco Legrand. This is the guy that people hate. What happened to Hemnitz? Did you see? I did, but I'm not trying to understand. There's nothing to understand. He might have failed to meet his quota or had some problems with the boss. Uh, yeah. I'm not your postman. Nobody pays me to deliver your mail. I have a great idea. Poor Peter Dong seems pretty upset about Hemnitz. Looks like he's about to cry. And who are we if we're not sympathetic colleagues? I think we should try and cheer him up. Let's play a little prank on him. Yeah, but you do the pranking, and we both do the laughing. You want the safe, don't you? So let's get on with it. Take Dong for a ride, and it's yours. Fair and square. Pause. Pause. Sense of humor isn't as refined or as subtle as yours. Emotions are the key. Find Dong's weaknesses and take advantage of them. Hmm. 
Marco, how do you hit on girls? What, now you want to pick up the hotties in the club? I'm married, but that doesn't mean I can't listen to tales of other people's love lives. Sure thing, buddy. Marco Legrand has plenty of stories like that. Listen and learn. I met this woman on the subway. I'm on the way home from work, and I'm sitting there with my shoulders squared and legs crossed, and I'm whistling some little ditty, you know. And she gets in at the Great Revolution Station, stands opposite me with her eyes fixed on the floor, a shy one, of course. So I jump up, all fancy and gentlemanly, take her arm, offer her my seat, tell her I was keeping it warm for you. Little by little, I persuade her to come back to my place to feed the fish. I've never even owned a fish tank. We just somehow got carried away with the fish thing. Long story short, we went back to my place. She's all fluttering her eyelids and saying stuff like, Where's your salmon? Well, I'm no fool. I opened a year old can of sp sprats and we were feeding them with breadcrumbs for half an hour. Can you believe that? I was curious, but this game is ported to Android, iOS, and Switch, so I can give this game a shot in the future. Ooh, nice. Do it. I volunteer as tribute. <laughs> why, why is he a jerk towards Dong? I don't know. There's a lot of uh, drama going on in this ministry. I almost forgot about my meeting in 15 minutes. Gup. Esme, if I disappear, that's why. You're good. Good luck with the meeting. <sighs> Best of luck, Gambare. I'm done talking to this guy. Let's go give this thing the Rakovich. It's fine, I'll wait. I found a folder from the archive. Give it to me, I will take care of it and find out who lost it. He'll rue the day he was born. And if you find something like that in the future, bring it directly to me. Do not show it to anyone and don't look inside. It'll be safer for both of us that way. <laughs> Task completed. Where the hell is she going? She's got a line. From Magda to Frederick Bullshit. Fred, thank you for the invitation. Unfortunately, I will not be able to share in your and Olga's big day. Perhaps you've forgotten, but this is the day of mourning for me. It has only been five years and I lost the two people closest to me, one taken by death and the other by the system. Congratulations on the upcoming wedding and best to you, Magda. From Teramok Orphanage. Uh, nothing really there. Comrade Rakovich. This monthly routine inspection cameras has been completed. Here's our report. Open space, no faults detected. Comrade Ferguson's reception and his office. No faults detected, no cameras. Submit a request to the security department to install cameras if you need them. Oh my gosh, she's weeping. Grave of Emilia Clarich, my only daughter. Damn. <clears throat> I didn't see shit. Filing cabinet. Eight hours? I have to spend my entire day looking through that filing cabinet.
It should hopefully be chill. I just got to find out what I'll be doing as a cosplay guest at an event. Hell yeah. Let's go. Judging competitions and emceeing stuff. She's perfect for it. Hear me out. Chocobo cosplay and Esme is the chef. Let's go. I'll be the chef of that. Absolutely. I have so many quests, holy shit. Take an hour and 30. This is the safe. Oh, I can't pick lever locks yet. No. Damn, there goes an hour and a half just out the door. You seem like more of an Aerith from what I've seen of you, other Or a Yuffie. Like, she gives uh, Aerith vibes? Is that what you mean? What is Emma doing? Call Cunningham? Can I use that phone? Apply for promotion. Oh my god, it's 15,000. Submit information about colleagues. Make a personal call. I don't want to make a personal call here. That's a work phone. Hmm. Sure. Eliminate three colleagues from the list of competitors. Move up to career. What are these people doing? Most colleagues must voluntarily. All right. I am overloaded on quests right now. I already did that. Lot still I have to do here. Oh, he's coming out. Hey, Peter. Wait, actually, this is a good question for Esme. Now I'm curious, whose vibes do I give off? Tifa, Aerith, or Yuffie? Um... Probably Aerith out of everyone. That's about health. I can't seem to find the pills my mother gave me. My head is killing me. Scoff. Yes. I already went through this. He hates Marco the Grand. It's 
scumbag p -p 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 piece of shit. Because Legrand's daddy has m, -m, m money coming out of his ears, so it's his idiot son gets away with anything. Use the fact that Dong is taking pills. through all this hmm this guy doesn't have anything for me I don't think I have anything for Serena. Time to play in the Crisis Core Aerith cost. <laughs> oh my god. Oh yeah, someone's waiting for me at the visitor. Oh. This guy. Hello. What can I do for you? Well, you talk to me, thank you. The thing is, I can't get anyone to help me. My line over there isn't moving at all. I've been waiting for a week now and I haven't moved an inch. And how can I help? Just keep waiting, everyone else does. But look at it, really. The window is closed. I just can't keep standing here. Can you check on the employee for that window? What if something happened to them? I should go stand in a different line. Okay, what window number is it? Number 101. Let's see what I can do. Oh my gosh. Oh, there's so many quests. Boss announced today is to cut our salary or to reduce spending. Well, he bought himself a gold watch yesterday to see who comes late for work. Who would you rather have as a pet Esmond, the baby chocobos with the silly butts, or the uh, albino beaver moogles? Oh my god. Do I really have to choose? Must pick. Oh man, this is like life or death for me. Uh, I guess the albino beaver moogles. Let's talk about the insects that little girl is planting in all of his bushes. Burn the nasty ones, feed the rest of the birds. Are you nuts? Oh, I mean it, I like feeding birds too. Well yeah, birds are pretty, but I'm doing your work for you. Here's a bag, go get some yourself. I don't want to feed birds. Oh, George is gone. Let's do a T pose real quick. All right. We're all good. I don't think I want to waste any more time. It's raining outside. I'm 
Thank God the little girl's still not home. Hi, sir. Nothing, okay. All right. Get lost. Oh my God, there's so many bills. Building manager fee. Who's knocking on my door? It's the guest, it was the guy that was waiting in line. He followed me home. Get out of here. Let's keep that. Let's keep that. And let's keep that. Keep my social points. Adios, meeting time. Have. Oh. Adios, meeting time. BB, have fun. You too. Thank you. Good luck. I wish you the best of luck with getting that ta cause table position. You got this. You got this, Awuwa. Here we go. Let me look, learn that skill. Oh my god, really? What does this guy want? Wait, was that was that lady pissing? What the fuck? I have so many quests. Why are they pissing and banging on the wall? Farewell, Alira. How can I help? Oh, it's the building manager. I'm all good. I don't need your help. I'm joking, Simon. Okay. I don't think it was embarrassing to talk about money, but I'll attend to the donate to the overall fund as soon as possible. If you're short on cash, then just give as much as you can, but the money is needed urgently. Handouts, old man. Let's go to bed. Some things are best left unanswered. Okay. 
Yusong, hello. Hello, good sir. Dear son, if you're reading this, I must already be dead. Forgive me for pushing you away, for the fact that we haven't been as close these last few years as we used to be. You may not believe me, but this was my own unusual way of trying to protect you. Even my death serves this purpose, to protect my son. I don't know who else might read this letter, so I cannot risk telling you everything. Therefore, I have left everything important in the special boxes throughout the ministry. Only you can open them. The locks are coded to your biometrics. I hope you manage to put it all together and make the right decision in the end. Yunin. You should receive the first box along with this letter. You have to find the rest yourself, and most importantly, don't trust anyone, Evan. I wish I could bequeath you something more pleasant. Good luck, and I love you, son. Gosh, I have so many. Ah, damn, <laughs> right? Hi. Well, that is going to be all for this stream, I think. Um, I will be playing tomorrow i'll be playing some phasmophobia uh with some randoms so <clears throat> until then i will see you all and i will catch you and he's leaving yep it's about that time and i'm hungry i haven't had anything for Eight hours. You've done a lot this game. Thanks for the stream. Absolutely. Adios. Yeah, no problem. Adios. Adios, Freddy. Sayonara, Jack. Shake my head right when I get the free time. Man. Hey, t technically I'm 37 minutes longer than I planned on streaming. At least you got to see some. But thanks for watching, everyone. I will talk to you all later, probably tomorrow, for some Phasma. Working hard or hardly working. Peace. Bye-bye.